winning profitable dropshipping products. For example, let's kick it off straight away with products number one, which is a golfing product. I love featuring golfing products on the channel because I play golf, I love golf myself, and it is also a very untapped market on Facebook. There is not many people selling golfing products on Facebook, meaning the CPMs are cheap. So some background information on this product is by a company called Ask Echo Golf. This particular post has been going since March 15th of 2023. So what's that, two or three months? Um, before I show you the actual product itself, I wanna show you why I feature these products and how I know that they're profitable for these companies. So first of all, we have the engagements. We can see 6,000 engagements, 1,000 comments and 600 shares. So people don't tend to run ads obviously for that long unless they're seeing a return on it. So there's kind of signal number one. And then signal number two is in the comments section. So when you're doing your product research, if you wanna pick a product that you know for sure has the potential to work for you, then this is what you're looking for in the comments section. So what we're trying to look for here is basically people who have said that they've bought this product and they're happy with it. There's no good selling 100,000 units or something if that 99,000 people are gonna send them back. So we wanna make sure that people are buying it and also importantly, people are happy with it. So we'll start off with the most relevant comments, ignore the time stamps on these of five weeks, five weeks, seven weeks. I will show you the newest comments in a second. So you can see that all of these products are still current, active and working right now. So Mark here from five weeks ago said, I just got my new bag, made the change over from old bag. Can't wait to try it on the core. So there's somebody who has bought this product. Alan, I got one and I love mine. Use it on a push cart. There's another person who's bought this product. Martin says, great bag. Jason says, great bag. Gregory says, I love mine. Another person that's got this product. David, love mine. Another person that has this product. Will here says, can't wait on mine. Been two weeks waiting for my order. So there's somebody who's bought this product. Maybe they have their supply issues. Um, Sevon Simon comes Friday and can't wait to try it out. Another person who's bought this product. Bruce, guess what? Mine showed up today. Very nice bag. Stands very tall. Nevertheless, it will work. Another person has bought this product. Brett, I just received mine. Another person who's just bought this product. And then Steve Cap. So this is an interesting point. You can buy these on Amazon. So I think it's a legit company. This is something that I've been talking about inside my inner circle with a lot of people. The, the biggest hurdle you have to overcome as somebody who marketing on Facebook is people seeing you as legitimate. So by putting yourself on other platforms is a great way to do that. Because if you are your very own website, there's no credibility really there anymore. Whereas if you're selling on these platforms like Amazon, like eBay, where they already carry that reputation and credibility, it's a great way to show you are a legitimate business. So that being said, we can see people buying this product. We can see it's been running for a few months now. What is the product? So basically it's a golf bag if you haven't guessed already um it's a couple of unique features about this though so number one is the dividers at the top when it gets around to showing them if it hasn't already um here we go so typically golf bags I do not have these club by club dividers, meaning your clubs kind of clatter around and scratch each other. So there's kind of like one USP about this bag. Um, something which they don't actually show in the video, which I definitely would if I was them, is they show it on their website. So if we actually jump onto the website, um, and the thing I was gonna show you is this here. So they actually have a large ice pocket, which you can fill full of drinks. What I really like about the branding of this product as well is they're not going after the professional golfer. Professional golfers are brand snobby. They want a tightless bag or they want a Callaway bag or they want a ping bag. They're going after people who enjoy playing golf because they enjoy playing golf. They're not trying to become professional golfers. They probably like to have a few drinks on the way around and that is their target market, which I think is bang on with the way that they sell this product. Let's go back up to the top then. We can see it's not a cheap product, $200. $200 is a decent price for a golf bag to be fair um, especially one of this size and this level of material in fact $200 is a very good price um, for this product it just goes to show how much money the big name brands must be making on their bags because they'll be manufacturing a significantly a lot more than these guys as we move down they do a really good job so they have as you can see like a grayed out background and then they use these white boxes to separate up the different kind of spotlights of the different functions and features of the bag it's all original content it's all pointing out the things like i mentioned for their ideal target market it's making things functionable for people ultimately making the game more enjoyable for them as well so we can see they've private labeled this product they've got some nice product imagery as well um, 
definitely this one which points out the different dividers and different dimensions of the bag which is important for people who are potentially tight on space in their car so they're selling the product for two hundred dollars if we jump on to alibaba because they're most likely sourcing this in a bulk quantity they're not drop shipping it if they've got their logo on the bag and let's take a look then at the sort of level of profit margins that these guys are probably making so two hundred dollars is the retail price um, i found a product which is a very very similar um, ignore the colors because there's it comes in the black white white and purple um, and a black and white here these are purely just the example ones we can see it's got the exact same dividers on the top it's got the exact same kind of carry bag there whether this is a cool bag or not i haven't checked that or not but for all intensive purposes don't need to watch that for all intensive purposes is basically the same bag and if you're ordering 500 of these things, you're looking at $70 per piece, plus your shipping on top of that, you're probably looking in and around sort of $100 delivered to wherever you're sending it. They obviously won't be sending it direct to their customers, so they're probably looking at about $100 delivered to their 3PL, who then has to pay to pick, pack, and dispatch it onto their customer. So we've seen the product they're selling, we're seeing the creative they're using, we're seeing their Shopify store set up, but what can we actually learn from these guys? Um, number one is this position themselves as the original seller as an expert in this product so they're not just a pop-up drop shipping store which makes them a lot easier to trust for people we can see that based on the comments in their facebook ads so if you're watching this video and you're thinking well what can i do what can i take from this then number one try and pick a niche which you have a passion in something or an interest in and you know something about because then it becomes a lot easier when it comes to product development because you know the pain points of the people in that niche you know the sorts of things they look for in a product in that niche it also makes running the business in general a lot more enjoyable but most importantly when it comes to the actual product itself try and get to this point as quickly as possible putting your logo on the product putting your product on other platforms so that when people do a bit of research and they want to try and find out whether you're legitimate or not if you keep coming up on all these different platforms and your logos are everywhere and you come across as a proper outfit you're going to become a lot more trustable and therefore you're going to capture a lot more more customers with that being said then guys that was product number one before we move on just very quickly 10 to 20 seconds of your time i want to make you aware of a free training that i've just finished up recording it's called how to build and launch your very own business and start making sales in less than 21 days it will show you literally every step you need to take step by step from day dot to getting your first customers in 21 days it is 100 free won't cost you a single penny all i ask for is your email address and that is so i can send you this this is my personal hand-picked selection of 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. So if any of that sounds good to you, once you finish watching this video, make sure you check out that top link in the video description below. Thanks. Moving on to product number two, then we have a product from a company called Jackie. So I've actually featured Jackie's before on my channel. They do a really good job and seem to keep replicating this success with multiple different products. So this particular one has been live since March 1st of 2023. Um, in that time, they've chundered up. That's not the right word, is it? They've gathered, they've achieved, they've acquired 4.3 thousand reactions, 2.1 thousand comments and 800 shares. Before we jump into the comments, actually, that just, just remind me, I didn't check the newest comments on this one. So we'll change this from most relevant to newest. And somebody actually posted 10 hours ago. Mine came in today. So 10 hours, 11 hours, 13 hours, 13 hours, 14, 19 hours, 20 hours, 20 hours. So as we can see, a significant amount of comments all from the last 24 hours. And even better, some people actually posting pictures of the bag once it's arrived. So I think it's pretty safe to say this product is working very well for these guys. Back to Jackie's then. So we've seen their engagements. Let's take a look at the comments. This is brilliant. Our four-year-old son with learning difficulties loves it. Um, I love it. Bought it for my granddaughter. Fabulous toy. Thank you. Ordered arrived ahead of schedule. Fantastic. So interesting. Grandson loves it. So there's kind of like a theme here. So bought one for my grandchildren, for my year old granddaughter, bought one for my daughter. So there's kind of like a theme here. My granddaughter, there's lots and lots of people who have bought this product for their granddaughter. Let's check out the newest then before we forget to do that again. Um, I just check it is still working today so 15 hours 19 hours let's open these up 21 hours one day six days that's got replies though three days so two days five days six days one week one week one week one week 14 weeks ignore that that's because it has a reply from one week ago and one week one week one week as we can see lots and lots of comments lots and lots of people have bought it so what is this product <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of like a sensory book. 
it opens up and it has lots of different pieces of fabric, lots of different textures, lots of different kind of like stringy toy bits, pouches, clips, buckles, all that sort of thing to help your children, as it says there, develop fine motor skills. One of the reasons why these guys are so successful is because they are tagged in the most prominent buyers on Facebook, which is grandparents. It is hands down the best audience on Facebook, in my opinion. There are so many grandparent related products that do so well on Facebook. Let's jump on to their Shopify store then. So we can see they're actually selling these products. They're very, very cheap products, which shows how high they must be converting on this for $14.95. That is indeed Great British Pounds as well. What I'm going to check is actually is what they're charging for shipping, if I can get that far. In fact, let's click on shipping and see what it says. So $2.95. So they're selling it for basically £18. Um, if we Let's take a look at their quick look at their product page actually before we go any further. So you can see the sort of thing they're doing. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it is textbook looks reviews and then the product description itself is heading paragraph image heading paragraph gif heading paragraph image the most textbook product description layout on Shopify you will find anywhere. Let's jump on to AliExpress. We've got a couple of examples here. This is a slightly different one that has more pages in it. So I wanted to show you this should you want to sell a similar product that you know the idea is tried, tested and validated. However, in my opinion, this is a more superior product. If you wanted to sell the exact same product, here it is for $4.54. They're selling theirs for $18, including delivery. So it only leaves like £13 of room in there. So it just goes to show how successful this Facebook ad must be performing. And with with that being said, that brings Facebook Ads Friday to a wrap for this week. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support on the channel. Don't forget to hit, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, if you're going to try any of these products out. If there's anything I can do to help you get started, whilst we don't get many comments on the videos, make sure you make the most of it because I do read every single one, so I will answer it and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome, awesome weekend and I'll see you in the next video on Monday.